Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be drawing Daki from Demon Slayer Season 2. So, Upper Moon 6, right? So, it's it's a clip from the trailer, so it's close up on her face. It's the best sort of image I could find. There was another cool one of her sort of to the side. And then the rest are sort of manga images. And um, not, not as big a fan as the... I know the manga's cool and everything, but I think the anime... They do a better job, sort of a character design, stuff like that. That's just my opinion. <laughs> um, so I'm on landscape orientation paper, use a pencil and an eraser, and hit pause if I go too fast. So super close up on her face, real big eyes, right? So we start with her eyes. Center point to my page is about here. Just come over to the right a little bit, and we'll go big eyelash line, right? So we're going big arc, big sort of curve. This way. Right. <clears throat> and then this is super big, right? So we'll go up like so. And you can add sort of demons there, it has some spikes and stuff that come off the eyelash line. But we'll just go up this way. And we're going to color this all in dark black as well and add some eyelashes and stuff. It spikes up right here in the corner to a big eyelash and comes back down. Right, and this is all dark. And then we have some more eyelashes here, and a couple at the front. None in the middle. So we have a big one there, and then a sort of a hook that comes down here from the corner of her eye, right? Maybe another eyelash. So her bottom eyelid line, so it's kind of just a V-like shape, right? So it's gonna go across that way. And then it'll go up towards this corner here. And you can thicken this up a little bit. She's very similar eyes to Nezuko, I think. Sort of that female sort of thing, so. Here, eyelashes on the bottom, sticking out small ones, like so. And then his her iris curves around, real big. So you sort of with the top cut off, half circle. That kind of thing. <coughs> so she's got that upper moon six kind of writing and there's some lines just on the edge of her iris here. So it's done kind of like calligraphy, right? But we'll do just a basic and then we'll thicken it up, right? So we'll go down across there. And then you just sort of thicken the ends up. Like that. And then it's like squiggly sort of writing. So it's like an S or Kind of like that on that side. And another one here. Starting there. Then another sort of zigzag kind of thing. There and down. Right, so her other eye is pretty much the same thing, right? So we'll just spike a line from here, right? So curve it across. So comes up to spiky eyelash, real long here. And then we'll 
I'll just thicken it up. Go down then. This way and you can color it in. just some sort of eyelash lines now and another one say here and here and then we have this sort of corner line just here spikes sort are of coming down this way and this has sort of an eyelash sticking off here as well So, and then our bottom eyelid, so again, similar to this, so it'll go diagonal, and then across. You can thicken it up. And then add some small eyelash lines on there. So, and then her iris, so big, round iris line. Circle with the top, sort of cut off there. And it has some lines around, just there. And then we have some more sort of calligraphy style writing. So, another line there, a J sort of shape, like that. And then another one coming around. So, another one here, another one here, line down there, and then a straight line across here, and you thicken up the ends, you're trying to make it look like it's done with a brush, it's tricky but that's what we're going for. Another line there, something else here. So that's basically her eyes, right? So then her eyebrows. So she's quite pointy, long eyebrows, right? So we'll go this way, right? And they go sort of real curvy up near to the, like the top of her forehead. So up this way and then across. And you want to thicken up this end, right? So you want to like, just make it look like it's pointy and then it goes, gets narrower eventually when it goes up to the top of the eyebrow there. You can color it in black. Like so, and then this side as well, similar sort of thing, right? So you're gonna go up and across and then thicken up this end down to a point kind of there. Like so, and then up across for some frown lines, some frown lines in here, eyelid lines, like so. <clears throat> and then what we can see of her nose. So just coming down here, right? So we got like a line coming down this way, curves around the tip of her nose there, slightly over to the left of her eyes, right? And then a shadow comes out the back, up into there. And then her nostril, say, well, a bit of a shadow actually here, down here. And then her nostril there, there. Could be some hatching just on her nose here. Usually there is in Demon Slayer. <coughs> like so. 
Okay, her mouth, right? She's got like this evil sort of smile, right? It's like a big evil smile, kind of like, reminds me of the Grinch for some reason. So it starts just with these sort of dots in the corners here, just under the inside of her eye, right? So. Like the dimples on the side of her, on her mouth, just underneath the inside of her eye, right? And then we sort of bring this down, like so. Curves around for her top lip, and then that goes up to there. And then she has pink lipstick on, right? I'll draw it in with black, but it's done in with pink, right? So we'll just do her bottom lip in. Curve it around here, like so. And I'll color it in black, it's, it's normally pink, but we'll just leave a white highlight. This is how you do um, lipstick on a character if you're drawn with pencil or black ink, right? So color this in black. Right, like so. If I left it white, it would have just looked like teeth. So, I might change it to pink when I'm coloring later. So then she's got a shadow underneath her chin. Or her lip, should I say, just there. And then her chin, just down here, pretty pointy chin, like so. So in terms of proportion, right, we've, this character, so her head is tilted forward. And when a character tilts their head forward, this area is always bigger than this area, right? So like the eye area doesn't quite go down to the chin. So I would say like her eyebrows to the bottom of her nose is about the same as bottom of the nose to chin, right? So this is halfway between here and here, right? Then like the bottom of her nose to the start of her eyebrow, about the same as bottom of the nose to the chin. And then bottom of the nose to the bottom lip is about the same as bottom of the bottom lip to the chin. So like the bottom lip, the black lip is about halfway between nose and chin. So that's kind of the proportion you're working with. So if you had some just horizontal lines, you know, drawn in, you could see that this and this are roughly the same distance. And then this and this are roughly the same distance, right? So that's your proportion. <clears throat> so then her face goes up. And she doesn't like have a strong jaw that like suddenly changes direction, right? So you're stopping just crossing the corner of her mouth. But we, we have like a gradual, more of a gradual jawline. So this will go this way. And it sort of gradually starts to turn, right? And go up the side of her face and join her hairline. So it starts to turn around here. And it just goes up this way. All right, and same thing pretty much on this side. Gradually turns, goes up the side of her face there. Same thing roughly over on this side. <clears throat> so speaking of hairline, so just in the middle of her forehead here, we've got this V, right? And in terms of distance, so like eyebrow, to there is about the same as eyebrow, maybe to this shadow, right? Just so we don't make her like forehead too big or too small. So like here to here, about the same as here to here, okay? And then we add some like hair spikes that just come down in this sort of radial kind of pattern. So it like comes, curves around like this. the side of her head, there. And we do kind of the same thing on this side. And then this comes 
down like so right so roughly sort of this sort of love heart kind of shape for her head okay Right, so she has these flowers kind of tattoos on her face, right? So one up here, so it like bumps around. Like so another one comes out here. Very particular sort of design now. So another one here and then a spike one here. And then another one here. And then a much larger one on this side. So we have this love heart sort of petal shapes. There's one there. And then another one coming around this way. Like so. And then another one around here. And then one more here. Around to there. And then this like goes around the other side of her face. So you can't really see the ends of those petals. And then they have a dark section inside each one, like dark navy or gray. So this comes around like so. And here. And then something here. Yeah. And she has um, red um, on the corners of her, of her eyes. I'll draw. It's done with color. It's not sort of done with black ink, so or pencil. So, but I'll draw it in just so we know the shape. So it curves around there, and then this goes around her eye, and then back into the corner of her eye there. And then we have something similar on the other side. So it goes up around. And then back in. So that's like red inside there. So then she has hair that hangs down from the side of her head here. And a square at the bottom. Comes back up into there, into here. Same on this side somewhere. Where's it go? Where's it? Let's say. And then her ears, so you can just see a bit of a sideburn. A bit of a sideburn there. And then her ears will come out around here. Like so, another one on this side, sideburn. Ear comes down, down into there. Yeah, you can see bones and ligaments inside. So kind of bump here, this goes up, curves down to there, turn around like so, another one here, up to there. Like so, and this comes up like here, here. Boom. Okay. So her shoulders, we'll do her hair. Her hair kind of is a bit complicated. So we'll just get the main shoulders and stuff in first. So we'll go, it's not, well, her hair's not that complicated, but. So her shoulder comes out and down this way. Right, it flies off that way. And then she's got these straps that come down across her chest all the way down to there. Another one 
and down this way. There's black lines on the inside. Comes down here. Comes down here, and then her like armpit line. There. And her other shoulder. Roughly here. Down, off this way. And then we can have a sort of armpit line here, and then that strap on her shoulder, down that way, down this way, another line up there. dark line on the inside there <clears throat> and then we have collarbone right so see your collarbone here collarbone goes towards the top of the shoulder always your AC joint in your shoulder up there so it's a handy thing to remember just if you're wondering you know, what direction the collarbone goes. It always goes towards the AC joint of the shoulder. Up to here. It's where your trapezius, and your trapezius sort of goes into that joint. They're all connected up here. And then we have neck muscle lines just here. Neck muscle lines here. And she's a shadow underneath her chin. Okay, so what we can see of her hair, right? So, and she's got these things that fly up, so then the hair goes in behind it. So this curves up this way. I don't know, these pieces of fabric or something. So the other one goes up that way. And then her hair. So a piece of hair comes out from here, goes up, right? And then she has like a golden, comb or something so another just like shadow so we got to draw the shadows in on our hair as well that's something I forgot to mention so this is like a shadow that goes up so this is black this is gray you kind of have to draw these in because it won't make sense and then she's got this golden thing comb or something sort of here behind her ear So, and then hairlines running down into here. So this is all black inside here. And then another line here for a gray section, black section. Right, and then another hairline goes into there. Comes out up here, goes up. Up that way. And then she has hairpins coming out of her hair. So another sort of shadow line there. And the shadow line here. And there's a hairpin sticking out, so it just comes out straight out this way. And then a red section there. And then the bottom 
clear it out that way. Up to the top of my page, it comes back down. And then we have an interior. Comes down. That way. And then another hairline going that way. And some more hair coming down this way. And there's all sorts of shadows and black sections. This is dark shadow, dark shadow, shadow, um, shadow, shadow, shadow. <clears throat> so it's kind of like Tanjiro's hair. You kind of have to draw these shadows in and color them dark or it kind of won't make sense. So curve lines here. She's another hairpin on this side as well, and some more hair flowing down here. And there's some hairpins that stick out this side as well. So then we go down that way. Another sort of a hair spike here. And then a shadow. This one, another line. So this is gray, this is shadow. Shadow, 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 dark. I'm just putting dots so we know where the dark parts are. I think there should be like a little spike here. Mm. Right, so there's another shadow here. And then the hairpin on this side, so the hairline goes this way, and then the hairpin sticks out here, similar to the opposite side. Like that at first, and then this goes to there, goes to here, up to there, down like so. And then we do that again, around, up, to there. And then the rest of our hair sort of bumps around it, down, cross, down that way. So shadow, 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 and there's like a shadow coming down here, but a thin one. Right, like that. And then there's hairpins, circular ones that come out from behind her head here, right? So you just draw a sort of circle. If you have a coin or something circular you'd like to draw around, free, feel free to use that. Like so. <clears throat> Goes in behind her ear here. And then this one comes down like so. And then it goes in behind her shoulder. Most of it does. Got a yellow thing.
thing here. This comes around. And then the other side. Circular. There. In behind the rear. They're like colored yellow and red. And they're quite shiny on the inside as well. There's a shadow here. You could just draw the full circle and rub it out on where her hair is if you were more comfortable doing that. Boom. Um, on this sort of fabric, she's got these patterns, right? Goes that way. And that goes that way. Into there, out to there. That's her shoulder, so that goes that way. And then on this side, to there, to there. Like so. And is that everything? Yep. I think that's it. That's how to draw Daki from Demon Slayer Season 2. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.